Alright guys, how's it going? Now, to call this a tutorial would probably be a little bit of a stretch. Now some of you may or may not know, Quixel was just recently bought over by Epic Games, or Unreal Engine. Now as part of the merger, they've gave away over 10,000 assets if you use Unreal. So why am I showing a Blender user this? Well, there's also a whole bunch of free assets, but if you have a free Unreal account, it essentially gives you access to all these objects. Now the caveat being is you're meant to use this with Unreal Engine, but there's nobody saying that you can't set this scene up in Blender, then send it to Unreal. But just to keep everything above board, we'll use the free assets because I want to show you how powerful this is. Now Quixel have a subscription and have actually slashed the price since they merged, and there's a little bit of speculation that they might actually be making all these assets free to everybody, and I think it's part of the buyout, but speculation, we'll put that to the side. So there's two things you really need, the first thing being you need an Unreal Epic account and this is free to sign up. You should also download Unreal Engine as well, it's a pretty damn powerful game engine. The next thing you need to do is download the Quixel Bridge, so you can actually sign in using your Epic Games account now. Quixel Bridge is pretty much an asset browser with one click download and one click export to application. So you can send this asset to Houdini, Blender, there's a whole bunch of options. So here's one I downloaded earlier, <laughs> now this is a free asset and it's a huge Icelandic lava cliff. So when I click on it you can see that it can change the export settings. Things like texture resolution, texture format, mesh format, level of detail, and the thing that we are concerned about, export to. So I have Blender as my default application, and you can see here it gives you a path to a script. Now this is essentially a Blender add-on, now just like any other Blender add-on, you go to Edit, Preferences, Install, install from the path location that it gives you here, and enable the plugin, Mega Scans Live Link. Now most people jump the gun here, I've done this myself, and they just hit Export. But the first thing you need to do is come up to File, Import, Mega Scans Live Link, and that essentially tells Blender to open the command port to listen to the bridge. So now that that's set up, I've selected the asset that I've downloaded and I hit export. And you'll see here, export into Blender. So what it does is it exports the object, sets up the textures, and we now have this asset directly inside Blender. Now hopefully you can start to see the potential here and how powerful Quixel is. And congratulations to the guys at Quixel for the buyout. I remember back in the days when you had 2DO Painter and things like that, so they've came a long way in the last 4 or 5 years. And thank you for releasing these assets to Unreal users. Now like I mentioned, there's nothing to say that you can't download the assets, do your layout inside Blender, then send it over to Unreal. So keep that in mind. So that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Set yourself up with an Unreal account, download the Quixel Bridge and then send things over to Blender. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it really does help. You know what to do. Peace.